Okay, so um, now we do have the uh, Flex 1500 actually connected, and we're going to go ahead and open um, Power SDR, which of course I could do with the touch screen. There. And, um, hmm, it's actually connected now to the 1500. So let's go ahead and start it. Yeah. So apparently it's uh, set up on a broadcast station. Well, let's go over to uh, 40 meters. Move the frequency. Oh, that's a problem. It just CW part. Easier to use a stylus with some of these. Let's switch over to uh, CW mode and uh, I'll go ahead and get it in the pass band. Sounds like there's a little breaking up of the, uh, just a tiny bit of breaking up of the uh, audio, possibly because I have the uh, the Wi-Fi turned on. Let's see if I disable that. Okay, the Wi-Fi is now off. Still, there's a little bit of uh, breaking up of the audio. The way I'm running this is uh, running it through VAC. <coughs> Let's show you. It's running through VAC turned on and the VAC is enabled and it's uh, directing the uh, audio output to the uh, Microsoft Sound Mapper so it's going out through the speakers. And uh, the input apparently should be coming through the microphone as well. So I should be able to use the built-in microphone in the uh, tablet. And uh, why don't we just go ahead and give that a try. So uh, let me go back to the phone part of the band. And um, actually, let's go, let's go up to uh, 20 meters. Okay, this time of night, we're probably not going to be heard anywhere because the band is closed. So I'm going to do a little test transmission. 
see we're on upper side then and here I go I'm gonna go ahead and hit Mox and uh, hello I guess um, I should have tested this before not getting any um, any sound out okay well we'll try this again mm -hmm. 